Yo, what's up, guys? Gonna show you guys these new, uh, new skill add-ons real quick. Oh, fuck. New update that came out today, I believe. Uh, so you can pretty much put any skill add-on on any skill. Which you just wanted on some good skills. So let's get straight into it. I'm gonna be showing you guys the session in Awakening. So if you guys have any other questions, be sure to join the Discord and leave me a follow on Twitch. Yes, I do stream and uh, I am very active on Discord. I will leave it all in the description. So let's get straight into it. So I'm just gonna show you guys the session first and I'm gonna show you guys Awakening. It's pretty straightforward. So, but the thing is, it is personal preference is the thing. A lot of people, oh, Steve, why do you have this? Why do you have that? It's what I use a lot, so. And the S tier for the new add-ons, guys, is attack speed. So keep that in mind. Attack speed is key. So this is, so for one thing I will say for Secession add-on, Devastation for Secession is personal preference. Everything else is pretty okay. And you don't, shouldn't change these. It's really up to you though. If you do PVP on Secession, sure, change everything. But this is like the go-to for PvE, which is very fucking good. So Fear Strike, you guys know Fear Strike already have a 15, what is it? 15 uh, DP, right? So some add-ons do stack. So yes, some do stack. Slow Devastation with more slow, like fucking uh, attack speed and movement speed. Yes, they do stack. So you can stack those. So I'm looking for Fear Strike, for example, right? So Fear Strike. This has all DP negative uh, minus 15 for 10 seconds. And the add-on is all DP negative for 10 seconds. So yes, that is total 30. So you can, that is very good for PVE and PVE. So yes, those do stack. So the, the other ones that stack is Titan Step. So Titan Step is also a good one. So for Raising Thunder, you want negative DP and all of this good shit. So this is for Secession. So for tier, for the only tier three, I guess this in succession is fucking predatory hunt, which is kind of, it's kind of whack. Storm and Beast is a tier one. First Strike is a tier two. FD is a tier two. Predatory hunt is a great skill. So it's a tier three for succession. Rage of Thunder is a tier two. And Devastation is a tier two. So if you guys do PVP on succession, um, you could probably switch out like Storm and Beast for like an e-grab or some shit and like apply like probably like you find somebody evasive or like you know have a lot of evasion you probably put like uh where is it all accuracy plus three and like fucking where is it all evasion negative rear you can do something like that but i'm not gonna do that because i don't i don't pvp with secession i don't play with secession so that is secession um let's get on this so let's get straight into awakening so awakening is gonna be totally different so awakening also want to mention this awakening pve is kind of dookie right now after um after this update it pretty much is it's pretty much a buff for secession in a way for killing mobs and shit but the reason why this game is dookie because it's higher apm and like it's it's just more apm on your fingers man so zerk secession is very boomer friendly it's very boomer friendly and this is for awakening awakening um pretty straightforward and for so the thing the difference is for zerk awakening you can do pve and pvp but the last thing i want to note is flame buster is up to you titan blow titan blow is ancient wave so if you want to change this Titan Blow, for example, Titan Blow is Ancient Wave, so you can do negative 20 DP, you can do negative 5 evasion on target, which is fucking good. Since Ancient Wave doesn't have an accuracy modifier on his skill, so you can do that. But anything else is kind of not needed. Or you can do all evasion plus 5% and all accuracy plus 5%, like counteract fine evasion players, but that's really up to you. But the all negative 20 DP seems to be go to go like that, so. That's okay. That's pretty fine. Another thing is Flame Buster. Flame Buster is pretty much all up to you. But all of this is pretty good. FD can be spam. Same thing with the session. That's why I left it as it is. 
but since I have um, FD on Secession, I have monster damage, which is better for Secession on the kit versus a Devastation for Awakening. You know, Ground Pound is better for Awakening with attack speed. But that's uh, pretty much wrap it up for that. I want to add in a few little notes while I'm uh, showing you guys something for crystals and whatnot. So for crystals, you can run this. So for crystals, right? You pretty much run this. That's if you have a Garmoth in your dandy, though. If you guys have a Garmoth in your dandy, you can put these RBF crystals in your boots. And that will put you at... Um, what's my resistance? Resistance is this. This is just for PvE. This is what a this is without a villa. So without a villa, this is this that. Garmathon, let's have a Garmoth a Villa, a Vel, etc. But that's that's with that. Also wanna note, a lot of people keep asking me, Kazark, why did I switch to Kazarka? See, why did you switch to Kazarka, right? Oh, I get this asked a lot. So, why did I switch to Kazarka? Evasion is getting so damn high at this moment because, like, evasion is just too fucking high, man. It's you need accuracy to land hits and you need accuracy to do damage fighting ev evasion players. But one thing I will say, if you are any. If you are a Secession Zerker, and if you do, and if you are an Evasion Zerk, Evasion is very good on Zerk for late game only. DR is still good as well. So, Evasion Zerk needs full pin everything for Evasion. DR is still good, period. So, you can flex your build with Zerk. You can still run often. Often is not an issue at all for Zerk Secession. But I play Awakening and Secession, so I play both. And I always play both. I play like Awakening like every two hours or Secession. But when it comes to grinding, no. Secession is just, uh, secession is just totally better. Secession is just better for grinding, period. Uh, a lot of people can argue that or have a debate, but why the fuck would you want to press 20,000 buttons to kill a pack of mobs when you can just like, you know, huh, you know, and just spin. Oops. Fuck, that's Secession spin. But I meant Awakening spin, but... You, you, you get the drill. You know what I'm trying to say, but Fuck. But anyways. At the end of the day. <laughs> Secession is the better grinder right now. Awakening is just... It's just, uh... Awakening needs some help. It doesn't need help, but it just... It's not, it's not satisfying, you know. It's just not satisfying. But yeah, Zerk B Blade spin is just better. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, whatever you plan to do. And also, once again, Kazarka versus Often. That's totally up to you. A Tet Block Star as well is not a bad main hand, guys. A Tet Block Star is not a bad main hand. So, how much does a Tet Block Star cost for uh, Axe? It costs, okay. Mm, that costs the same amount as a fucking pin weapon though, holy shit. But you guys, you see this, the difference? The thing is, often a Kazar can be Kafras. But, once again man, it's really up to you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys wanna compare like different add-ons, go ahead, switch it up, flex your build. Personal preference once again, but always, evasion on Zerk is not bad at all, it is very strong and tanky. Only if you have the gear to use it. DR is more of the swishy side, but it's still tanky in PvE and a little bit it ain't that tanky in PvP, but you will do some fucking damage fighting evasive players. So last thing I want to note is if you want to do something like that, I probably might make a how to kill evasion player build or like you know have a newer build coming in. So keep that in note. Also, guys. If you do not run Garmoth and your dandy, put Hooms in your boots and helmet. Pretty much it. But if you do have a Garmoth and your dandy, you can put Hooms in your dandy and put RBFs in your boots. You will have high resist 
like Knockdown, you put on Nuver, you will have higher without a villa. I don't have a villa on right now, but yeah, you get them. You get the Mimo, the Motto, Caprimo, Tomato. But yeah, you get you get the shit. You get it. You get it. But anyways, you know, eating the food. I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.